What's up guys and welcome to part 9 of tutorial series on AWS audio analysis. In the previous tutorial we have tested the implementation. Now before we move on further and create the data catalog using AWS Glue service, I wanted to cover the high level overview on AWS Glue service that is probably in this tutorial. So what is AWS Glue? So AWS Glue is an ETL service is that extract transform and load service right uh, so as you can see on the screen uh, the definition that makes it simple and cost effective to categorize your data clean it enrich it and move it reliably between various data stores so ideally uh, one can use AWS glue to build the data warehouse right so what AWS glue does so basically it automatically uh, discovers and profiles the data or profiles our data via the Glue data catalog. So now the question is um, what is Glue data catalog? So basically AWS Glue data catalog is the central metadata store or the repository for structured metadata for all our data or in another term it, it's an it's the persistent metadata store in AWS Glue. So apart from that uh, we can also integrate AWS Glue with number of services like Amazon Athena that is something we are going to use in this series then AWS sorry Amazon EMR and Amazon Redshift Spectrum. So uh, let's click on get started and have a look at the uh, left panel and what are the options or the tools we have under AWS Glue. So the first is database right so if we, if we click on database so it's it's nothing but the uh, it can consist of the logical group uh, with associated table definition right so so we will have number of tables within a single database right. So if you look at tables, so table ideally consists of the names of columns and then the data type definition and probably other metadata information about our data, right? So the schema of our data is represented in the AWS Glue table definition, right? So here we, uh, we are going to define the table definition so maybe we might not define it manually so here there is a tool called craw crawlers so it can also uh, discover the data and extract the uh, metadata or the schema information or the um, data structure and create the table definition for us so we'll have a look so then uh, we have connection so we can uh, define various connection between other data source like Amazon RDS then Amazon Redshift and also uh, we can define the connection uh, for the public database using uh, JDBC protocol so that's that's for connection that's for uh, connecting the external data or the data from different service within AWS it even supports I think AWS Aurora so it has certain uh, list uh, of database that it supports so you can have a look in the uh, documentation now uh, then then we have crawlers so crawler will ideally connect with the data store right uh, for example an s3 bucket uh, maybe it it is it has a certain number of json file right so here the S3 bucket is the data store for us. So that's an example that I'm taking. And then uh, what crawler will do is uh, it will connect to the data store. It will connect to the S3 bucket and then it will scan or crawl all the files uh, or the data and it will apply uh, various classifiers to determine the structure of the data. And once it determines the structure of the data, uh, then it will create the metadata in the data catalog in the form of table definition. So as I said uh, while I was discussing about tables that crawler can also create or define the table definition for us based on uh, the 
processed or or structure of the data right so so that's that's crawler now we'll look at the classifiers so ideally aws glue has uh, built in classifiers as well as uh, you can define custom classifier here so if you want to uh, define custom classifier then you can just go ahead and uh, click on add classifier and you can define your own patterns but aws glue does have uh, very well defined and built classifiers so a uh, classifier determines the schema of our data right so schema or the structure of our data and, and that is where uh, it will create the table definition for us so uh, if the custom classifier is defined so if we, if we had add the classifier over here then uh, aws glue will initially apply the custom classifier first before uh, applying built-in classifiers so that is something uh, you you want to keep in mind now uh, moving along uh, so here we have settings so it's all about encryption i believe right so you can encrypt the metadata information and then connection passwords and whatnot then uh, under the etl section uh, we have workflow i think a workflow is something that is recently uh, introduced so workflow uh, is nothing but an orchestration tool uh, used to visually manage the relationship and execution of the um, ETL process uh, using a trigger job and crawlers right so you can just uh, visually define the triggers and jobs and you can have the relationship or you can define the relationship between them that that uh, maybe you want to define the sequence that first this job will execute then this job right and and so on so that's where our uh, workflow uh, will be helpful now uh, coming to the jobs so job is nothing but the business logic that we want to implement to extract and then transform the data using python or scala script and then load the data back into the centralized uh, DB. So uh, ideally job runs are initiated by triggers. Also uh, it allows you to customize the script using graph based interface. So when you uh, uh, add a job over here and once you are done with uh, defining or configuring all the configuration then at, at the end it allows you to edit the script uh, that is generated by AWS Glue itself. So it is not necessary that uh, you use the generated script, right? Uh, you can also uh, define your custom script, o script over there. But at the end, uh, uh, so if, if, if I show you over here, so maybe I will give a name as job1. Oh, I don't have a role over here. So just quickly create the role. Create role. So it will be glue over here. Permissions. So it requires permission to Amazon S3. Okay, probably S3 flexes. Do we need glue? Uh, uh, let's let's provide it so that we don't need to uh, come back over here. Or maybe we will provide AWS glue service room. Thanks. Review. View underscore role underscore service create role. So now we have successfully created the role that should appear here. And here we go. So you can uh, select the type of the script, right? So it can be Python shell or Spark. I will go with Spark. 
So here you will see three options, a proposed script generated by AWS Clio, right? So this will auto-generate the script for us. Then probably uh, click on next. So maybe I might not able to finish this job since I don't have any data source or data target connected. Right, but um, you can just uh, so probably in the next tutorial we are going to uh, define the table definition and then probably we will have some data source and data target and then you can uh, try your hands out. So uh, once you complete all these four steps and it will provide you an uh, vis visual option to edit the script, correct? Uh, it's, it's, it's like in some sort of workflow. Right, and so moving along, then we have triggers. So ideally triggers initiate the ETL jobs, correct? Uh, based on the scheduled time or job events. So we can also uh, trigger it manually by using on-demand option. So if I click on add on trigger, so here I have three options. So when is schedule and then job events and on-demand, right? So based on this three option, um, one can trigger the ETL job. So ideally ETL job starts with trigger itself, correct? Now, uh, uh, let's say we have defined the crawler, we have defined the triggers, we have jobs in place. Now how we can uh, test this, right? So we are not going to go ahead and uh, test these things on the dev environment or production server, right? So here uh, it, it provides us the option of dev and points. Right, so uh, you can go ahead and uh, add an endpoint here, and once you add the endpoint, uh, it will allow you to create a notebook instance. Uh, so where you can um, test the uh, current implementation of the ETL job. So it allows you to uh, create notebook in SageMaker environment as well as in Zapier notebook. I'm not sure about uh, Zapier, uh, but uh, you can try your hands out. So, so this is what uh, at high level AWS Clio is. So I know I have not covered uh, each and every step in depth, but it's it's just to give you an overview that uh, what it consists of, right? What all tools it have. Now, just to uh, give you an example uh, to make the uh, explain concepts clear at high level. So here uh, on the uh, documentation site of AWS Glue, uh, they have given this uh, beautiful uh, diagram. So let's have a look at the diagram and try to understand it. So we'll start with data store, right? So we, we for example, we have an S3 bucket with uh, number of JSON files. So as a first step, what we will do is we will go ahead and create a crawler. So crawler will connect to the data store, right? And, and then it will uh, scan the data or crawl the data and it will create the table definition in the data catalog for us along with the other metadata information. So when I say other metadata information, it, it ideally uh, uh, used to uh, create ETL script, uh, automated ETL script, right? So then once we have the crawler in place, uh, it will scan the data store and it will create the uh, table definition here in the data catalog, correct? And then AWS Glue can uh, generate script to transform our data, right? So and the and then the next step was so before that script the next step is to define a trigger so for example uh, we have defined a trigger and th this trigger will invoke this job that is transform job and here is our script uh, that can be auto generated by aws glue or it is uh, manually defined from our side so it can be anything right so that is that script is basically responsible for transforming the data, right? So uh, once this trigger, it will trigger, the job will start running. So once the job will start running, it will extract the data from the data source based on the data catalog or the table definition that uh, we have or crawler have defined for us, right? 
and then it will extract the data from data source it will transform so we will have the business logic within that script and that logic will be applied on the data and it will transform and finally it will load the data into a data target so data target can be anything it may be uh, amazon redshift or rds or so ideally uh, it might not be rds uh, it it should be amazon redshift because uh, it's, it's a data warehousing db right so so this is how the uh, aws glue works at, at high level correct so now uh, i think that's it for now so etl is is kind of tedious task or tedious process to implement which uh, may take a couple of week or months but now it is made easy with aws glue or we can uh, always uh, use aws glue to efficiently define our etl task correct so at high level aws glue is serverless so it, it runs the job on behalf of us right second point is it it auto generate etl scripts and has the ability to automatically discover files extract schema and load the information in the centralized db right so that is what aws glue is at high level and probably i will uh, cut it now so in the next tutorial we will create the table definition using aws glue and as usual if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time